Gandhi Jayanti is celebrated annually on the 2nd of October to commemorate the birth anniversary of the father of the nation, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. It is marked by prayer services and tributes all over India, including at Gandhi's memorial, Rajghat in New Delhi. Gandhi's favorite devotional song, Raghupati Raghav Raja Ram, is usually sung in his memory. Statues of Mahatma Gandhi throughout the country are decorated with flowers and garlands. It is one of the national holidays of India, observed in all of its states and union territories. The United Nations General Assembly announced on 15th of June 2007 that it adopted a resolution which declared that the 2nd of October would be celebrated as the International Day of Nonviolence. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, popularly known as Mahatma Gandhi, was born on the 2nd of October 1869 in Poor Bandar, Gujarat, India. He was an Indian lawyer, politician, social activist and writer who became the leader of the nationalist movement against the British rule of India. He inspired movements for civil rights and freedom across the world. Mahatma Gandhi was assassinated on the 30th of January 1948 in the compound of Birla House which is known as the Gandhi Smriti in New Delhi. A reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 43 to 48. You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes the sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Word of the Lord Your response is, Lord, listen to your children praying. Heavenly Father, we pray that just like Gandhiji, we may have the strength to always stand for the hard right against the easy wrong. Lord, listen to your children pray. Lord, we as teachers pray that we may continue to mold our students to speak for truth and justice and influence them to fight for what is fair even in the face of threat and danger. Your response? Lord, Listen to your children praying. We pray for our principal, Sister Mercia D'Souza, and the teaching and non-teaching staff, that they may invariably lead with love and responsibility. Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, we pray for the leaders all around the world, that they may advocate for peace and non-violence. Instead of mayhem, Lord, listen to your children praying. Heavenly Father, please provide us with a sense of receptiveness, humility, open-heartedness, patriotism, as well as non-violence. Lord, listen to your children pray. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you today as we remember the great works of Mahatma Gandhi. Lord, we pray for the power to be gentle, the strength to be forgiving, the patience to be understanding, and the endurance to accept the consequences of holding on to what we believe to be right. May we put our trust in the power of good to overcome evil, and the power of love to overcome hatred. We pray for the vision to see, and the faith to believe, in a world emancipated from violence, a new world where fear shall no longer lead man to commit injustice nor selfishness make them bring suffering to others. Help us to devote our whole life to the task of making peace, praying always for the inspiration and the power to fulfill the destiny for which we were all created. Amen. <laughs>